So, you have a new show for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we make a Lord of the Rings show. That's a recognizable name. It sure is, sir. So all we have to do is spend a bunch of money on the rights, and it's a guaranteed hit. And also make a good show that people will like, presumably. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, no, we'll see how it goes. Amazing. So what happens in this thing? Well, it's gonna take place, like, thousands of years before the Lord of the Rings trilogy, right? And we're gonna follow Galadriel. Is that how people are gonna pronounce things the whole time? Numenor. <laughs> it's pretty distracting. Morgoth. Saur on. Oh, please stop. Please stop that. Sorry. So anyway, Galadriel's brother was killed by Sauron back in the day, so she's been trying to hunt him down. Okay. And nobody really believes her, but she's still, like, pushing on the search through the snow, risking people's lives, being real mean to everyone, and they're gonna get attacked by an ice troll. Oh, no. Yeah, this thing's super strong. It's taken out elves, but then Galadriel is so strong, she takes this thing out with no problem at all. Oh. Yeah, she's so good, it's not even a danger for her. She was never in danger at all. That's kind of... So the main character's never in any danger? Never, because she's so good. Not super exciting, actually. Not a danger on her horizon. Nothing's a threat for her. All right. Anyway, so the other elves are like, okay, we'll stop putting us in danger, and they put her on a ship to Valinor. <laughs> stop. And so they're basically sending her there to get rid of her. Oh, so what does she do? Well, just as they're getting there, she decides to jump off the ship into the water. <laughs> Is she planning to swim back to Middle Earth? <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> oh my god, you're serious. She's Galadriel. She can do anything. Right, right. Okay. And then as she's swimming back, she's gonna come across some shipwrecked people, including this one guy, Halbrand. And what's his deal? Oh, well, he and Galadriel are gonna kinda team up throughout the season, but then at the end of the season, there's gonna be this big reveal that he's actually Sauron. So while swimming across an ocean, Galadriel just happened to run into the evil being she's been looking for. I Yes. That works. Oh, thank God. So eventually they end up at this place called Numenor. And what happens there? Well, she tries to convince the Queen Regent to give her a ship to go back to Middle Earth. Oh, she's got to do some diplomatic relations, huh? How does she handle that? With massive disrespect. Oh. You will know, see, sir, this isn't the Galadriel we know from the Lord of the Rings movie. She's still young and immature. Right, okay. She's only a couple thousand years old at this point. Well, anyway, also during this season, we're going to follow these little creatures called the Harfoots. And they're going to find this really tall, magical man who fell from the sky. A tall, magical magical man, huh? Yeah, and he's got a beard and long hair and a long robe. So he's Gandalf. No? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's definitely Gandalf, though, right? I, okay, well, sir, it's gonna be kind of a big reveal later. Oh, uh, obviously being Gandalf is tight. It's gonna be a big mystery, sir. No, it's not. Okay, so anyway, the Harfoots that are taking care of this tall magic man, they're very loving and wholesome. Oh, that's nice. Unless you become a minor inconvenience to them, in which case they will leave you to die. Oh, my God. Oh, and also at the beginning of the season, these orcs are gonna be digging tunnels. Like, for fun? No, they're up to something. Oh. And they're gonna end up attacking this freaking village in the Southlands. Or the Villagers gonna fight? A lot of them are, yeah, because two or three times per episode, somebody stands up and gives an inspirational speech. Kind of a lot of speeches. It is a lot of speeches. But what, are we supposed to just stand around and not listen to a bunch of speeches? No! Today is when we take our stand. What are you even talking about? I don't even know. I've written so many of those. My brain is basically mush at this point. Anyway, this village is going to get massacred by orcs. Jeez. Yeah, but luckily Galadriel spent three episodes begging the queen for an army, so they sweep in and save the day. How'd they know where and when to show up? Hey, shut up. So then Galadriel is going to present that Hallbrand guy to the villagers and be like, by the way, this is the king of the Southland. So they're all like, oh my god, we have a king? That's great. They're all just super happy. They don't have any questions about that. That's right. What is she say this guy's king anyway? Because he had this little royal emblem thing on him, but he says he got it off a dead guy. That's pretty suspicious. No, it's not. So everyone's on board with him being king. All right. Anyway, then this bad villager dude is going to shove this magical sword into a giant Rube Goldberg machine that breaks a dam that fills up the orc tunnels with water, which makes a big volcano go off. What? Yeah, that just happened. I d why is that a thing? And then freaking volcanic ash just swoops down and covers up the village and Galadriel just stands there. Man, it's gonna be tough for people to survive that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, all the important characters just kind of survive. They do get covered in ash, let me tell you. But very dirty, very dirty people. A lot of cleanup they gotta do. Pyroclastic flows, almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, yeah, no, right, that's pretty hot. I should mention that queen lady does go blind. Oh, I guess her eyes were open? I guess so. So she's like, I don't want people to know that I'm blind. So she puts a big red cloth over her eyes. Smooth move, yeah, that'll do it. Anyway, so then it turns 
turns out that that was the birth of Mordor. Oh, how are we gonna show that? The on-screen title is gonna change to Mordor. That works. Oh, and another thing that's going on throughout the season is that Elrond, he's from the Matrix movies. That's kind of correct, sir. Anyway, he's trying to get some info out of his dwarf friend, this guy Prince Durin. And what's he trying to get? Well, he's trying to find out what the dwarves are mining, and it turns out it's this stuff called Mithril. Okay. But Durin makes Elrond take an oath that he's not gonna tell anyone about this. Oh, sounds pretty serious. Yeah, very serious. But then Elrond's boss is gonna be like, hey, are they mining that stuff? And he's gonna be like, I can't tell you, I took an oath. Well, I mean, that pretty much confirms it, doesn't it? Oh, 100%, yeah, it does. Anyway, the elves need this stuff or they're gonna die. Why? Because they'll die if they don't get it. Oh, all right. So then they get a little piece of it and they wanna make it into some rings. Oh boy, very important little circles. And Halbrand's gonna suggest to Celebrimbor, one of the best craftsmen in the world, that he could combine some metals together to make the stuff stronger. He's the best in the world and he hadn't thought of that? That's what we're going with. Well, okay then. So then they make the Rings of Power. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. And then Galadriel's gonna figure out that that guy is Sauron and confront him. Oh, so he kills her? He kinda yells and takes off to Mordor, actually. Why? For season two, I guess. I don't know. Got it. Oh, and those little Harfoots are finally gonna get confirmation that the tall stranger is good. How do they find that out? He's gonna be like, I am good. That'll do it. And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Well, I have to say, it's a very recognizable brand name. Sure is, sir. So let's just make sure we make it in a way everybody's gonna love. Absolutely, sir. Or we just throw a bunch of money at it and hope it works out. Oh, that sounds easier. Let's do that. Hi everybody, it's Ryan George here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and email this video to your grandparents. You might want to call them on the phone to make sure that they received it. Some older people have trouble with technology. It's not really their fault. Just get, call them if you can. All right, I'll see you uh, uh, next time.